So let's start by trying to give some hope to people watching this. And here I mean by hope, like giving some positive predictions or let's say expectations about the future of aging research. So you famously coined the term longevity escape velocity, so LEV. So what is LEV? This would be my first question. And when do you expect the humankind to reach it? Yeah. Okay, so in order to answer the first question, what is longevity escape velocity, I need to give a little bit of background. Um, the work that I've pioneered over the past 20, 20 or more years is all about developing treatments that will address aging and keep people healthy for longer. But the specific thing that I have pioneered is the idea of doing that by repairing molecular and cellular damage. Whereas before I came along, the focus was all on trying to minimize the rate at which that molecular and cellular damage is created without actually getting rid of damage that's already been created. Now, that's a really important thing to bear in mind, because if you are slowing down aging, in other words, slowing down the creation of damage, then somebody who is already in middle age and, you know, has nearly enough damage that is going to make them get sick fairly soon, then you're not going to be able to delay the getting sick by very much. But if you repair damage, then you can buy a lot of time. So um, this is where the longevity escape velocity concept comes from. The idea is that we can develop, let's call it first generation damage repair therapies, rejuvenation therapies, which will take somebody who is aged, let's say, 60, and um, turn them back to being 40 or so, so that they won't be biologically 60 again until they are 80, let's say. Now, that can be repeated over and over again, but if you use the exact same therapies, then the impact, the benefit, will go down because the therapies will not be perfect. There will be types of damage that they do not work on. And that means that um, in order to really continue to re-rejuvenate the same people over and over again, we will need to keep improving the therapies over time. Um, and so the question is, how rapidly? Uh, but the, the, that's what longevity escape velocity is. It's defined as the minimum rate at which scientists like myself will need to continue to improve the comprehensiveness of these therapies after the, we get to that first point where we get maybe 20 years of extra life. So then you're asking the question, how soon do we expect to get to that first 20 years? That's something that um, people have called the Methuselahity. That's not my word, but I like it. Um, and uh, basically, I think that at the moment, we have a 50-50 chance of getting there within the next 12 to 15 years. So really quite soon. Now, of course, um, that's only a 50-50 chance. I completely accept that, as with any pioneering technology, there are a, a huge number of... Um, ways in which we could be delayed. And I would say that there's at least a 10% chance that we won't get there for 100 years. But who cares? You know, a 50% chance is quite enough to be worth fighting for.